Namaste, everyone. Let's begin in our child's pose. My name is Beth. For those of you that are new to my yoga channel, welcome, welcome. This will be a 60-minute power yoga for strength and flexibility. So come onto your mat and let's have some fun. We meet in child's pose. Take this opportunity to center yourself, set an intention, come with an open mind, a beginner's mind. When you are ready, allow yourself to come onto all fours, find your breath, and let's move our body. For me, it's morning time. Sorry, the audio wasn't working. And we're back at it again, voice over. So allow yourself to just wiggle side to side, feeling your shoulder. And when you are ready, we begin. Make sure you have the props you need for your practice. Please subscribe to the channel, hit like, and come onto the channel. I put a lot of efforts to bring you these classes. So show me some love, support the channel in any way you can, and let's begin. Wiggling the hip to the left, over to the front, and to the right, like figure eight. Again, back, left, front, and to the right. Take your time here. This is so important to allow yourself to awaken the body, especially for those days that you are waking up and you want to move your body. Let's switch the circle to the right, to the front, to the back. Allow yourself to move as fast or as slow as you like. Being mindful of the movement, your body, and allowing yourself to breathe in, in and out. Breath is life. When you're not breathing, you're no longer leaving. Find that stillness, float the right leg back, really activating that right foot as high as you can. Draw the belly in. You can rotate the ankles here. Just waking up the body, wake up the body. Bend the knee, allow your legs to spread and bring that right leg behind the left and take it into your wild thin. Opening the chest, again, we're starting, so start slow. Take a breath here, relax the facial muscles, extend that right hand forward, lift the hip, chest, and when you have it, bring yourself back into tabletop. Cat and cow, look up. Exhale, push the mat and look towards your belly button, round the back, relax the back of the neck. Inhale, finding that breath. Look up, lift the chest. Open the heart center, the anahata. Exhale, rounding, cow, cat radha. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. How, is, how are you feeling so far? Again, cat and cow. Noticing how you're feeling here. And when you have it, come into neutral spine and float the left leg back. Just extend that left leg, point toes or flex toes, rotate the ankle, wiggle toes left and right, right and left, allowing yourself just to bring some mobility and flexibility into that leg. Bend the knee and bring that left leg behind the right and take the left hand forward while thin. There's so many ways to come into wealth, and this is one of them. Allowing your hip to lift, your chest to lift, but plug those shoulders away from the ear. So important. Take a breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the left hand down and come into tabletop like nothing happened. Cat and cow. Lift the chest. Look up. Exhale. Round. Look towards the navel. Again, inhale, lift the chest, shrug the shoulder away from the ears, open the heart. Exhale, round, look towards the navel. Once more, inhale, lift. Exhale, round the back like a cat. 
come into neutral spine, allowing yourself to just connect. All right, when you're ready, allowing yourself to take one more cat and cow and breathe into it and breathe out. All right, allowing yourself again to bring the right hand underneath the left armpit, thread the needle is called. Left hand reach up. This opportunity to shrug the shoulders, bring some flexibility in the shoulder joints. You can catch your shirt, you can bring that left hand towards your right hip. You can tuck the toes under here, allowing the back of the legs to open. Taking a big breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, release the left hand underneath the left shoulder and bring the right hand all the way to the sky. Three big circle. The right hand goes back and under and forward one more time. And allow your right hand to come down. Take the left hand up. Thread the needle on this side. Left hand underneath the right armpit. Head and shoulders on the mat. Square the hip and take the right hand back and up. You can catch a shirt, option one, or you can bring the right hand towards the left thigh and draw the shoulder away from the ears. Noticing that that left shoulder is on the mat, the right shoulder is opening and lengthen the spine. Inhale here, exhale. If you would like a silent class, I will post the ones that didn't have audio on it for your enjoyment. And then take the left hand back and make three big circles. Exaggerate the circles to open the shoulder. Of course, as I'm recording, is when the siren decides to come. Float the left leg and right leg up the mat, just hovering here. <laughs> Allowing yourself to find that breath and press back into downward facing dog. Hopefully it's not an emergency that is warranting the siren. In your downward dog, check in, maybe pushing those heels back, pushing the thumb and index finger and straighten those lovely legs. Hamstring hitting to the back of the room, head reaching towards the knee. Allow yourself to breathe here. Lift your heels up and roll forward into your high plank. Engage your core like the letters. Engaging that core, drawing the shoulder away from the ear. Bend the knee and send the hips to the sky. Downward dog. Float the right leg to the sky. Extend through that foot. Lengthen the spine. Exhale. Bring the right leg in between the hand. Take your time. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up. High lunge. You can look up, you can look forward. We've been here before for those of you who are regular on the channel. Exhale, frame the front foot, finding that breath. Hop your left leg to meet with the right. Look forward, lengthen and straighten the legs. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana in Sanskrit. Take a breath here, inhale, look forward, lengthen, find that flat back, exhale, fold, relax the back of the head. Inhale, step the right leg back into a standing split, pushing your hand into the mat, we're still warming up, right leg back, look forward, inhale, lift on up on this side, high lunge, opening your heart, exhale the hands to the mat, Inhale, take the left leg back and up to the sky. Three-legged dog, push the mat away, bring the left leg to meet with the right. Inhale, come into your high push-up, yogi push-up, elbows bent now. Upward facing dog, top of the legs, you can take cobra or skip this entirely. Exhale, we meet in downward facing dog. All right. Let me know how you get on. Do you like the voiceover? You're in downward dog now. 
Inhale, lift the left leg all the way to the sky, point toes. Exhale, bring the left leg in between the hand. Send the right leg back, look forward. Ankle mobility, reach the hands to the sky. High lunge, bend that left knee, allowing yourself to sink in. Hip opens, the right leg feels it. Rib cage opens through your breath. Hands on the mat, hop, right leg to me with a laugh. Unbothered, lengthen flat back. Then inhale, lift the left leg to the sky, coming into your variation of standing split. Remember your breath and send that left leg back, look forward and charge back in into your high lunge here. Open, bend the knee. I can emphasize on that knee being bent. Inhale, exhale, step the right leg back, downward dog. Thanks for warming up the body. Inhale, coming into your high push-up. Finding that breath, lean forward, elbow hug the rib cage. Upward dog as you open, thighs are lifted. Exhale, we meet in downward dog. Notice the breath and see whether you can match the rhythm of my breath. So the exhale, we're in downward dog. Continue to lengthen the spine and bend the knee now. Gaze between the hand with intention, with purpose. Step or jump forward in between the hand. Look forward, lengthen flat back, sun salutation A. Exhale, forward fold, take your time. Be in tension with the movement. Inhale, reach the hands and come into chair pose to the sky. Back is flat, tailbones tuck under, rise up, mountain pose. Taking a breath here. Bend the knee, chair pose. Think as if the back is against the wall. Sit in an imaginary chair. Tailbone tucked under. Back is flat. Really lengthening the spine here. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, look forward. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the hands on the mat. Bend the knee. Step or jump back. You can come down completely on the mat, cobra or upward facing dog, whichever one you've chosen. Remember, there's no judgment. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, right leg is sweeping to the sky. Extend, push the mat away. Take a breath here, inhale. Draw the right leg in between the hand, charge in. Notice your breath, right hand in front of that right leg and rise up half moon. Feel free to use a block. I've been told, Beth, why don't you use a block? You can use a block. It is your personal journey. I find that when I use the block, it's a bit harder to flow faster. You can stay here, really working to lengthen the right rib cage, the left rib cage. Gaze can be forward, or you can look on something that is not moving. Bring the left leg to meet with the right mindfully. Hands reach up in chair pose. Noticing that tailbone is tucked under. Good habits are easy to form when you know what you are doing. Take a breath here and rise up. Mountain pose. Hands reach up, look up. You can take a slightly back bend by gazing towards your thumb. Trace the midline. Forward fold. Inhale, gaze is forward. Lengthen the spine, plant the hands on a mat, step or jump back, your choice. Lower completely on the mat, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, exhale. We have two sides, we focus on the left side. Taking a big breath now, finding that length, making sure you're gripping into that mat, you're pushing your heels back. Inhale, float the left leg to the sky, second time. Notice your breath, open and bring that left leg to the top of the mat, mindfully. Left hand on the mat, option one, option two. Left hand on a block of your choice. Stack the right hip on top of the left, straighten the left leg. Again, there is a lot of things moving around me. 
And when you're ready, half moon, Adra Chandrasana. Pointing that toes back, stacking the right hip on top of the left. Lengthen the spine, lifting, straightening that left foot, right leg. Breathe in and out. Faces relax. Shoulder away from the ears. You know, lift the right leg a little bit more. Adopter and abduction muscles are active. Mula Bandha are alive. Right leg meets with the left. You know the drill. Bend the knee. Chair pose. A lot of chair in this practice. You're really working on those booty, the glutes. Reach the hands forward, flat back. Bringing that belly to the thigh, thigh towards the mat. Inhale, rise up, chair, and turn back in. Mountain, avoid adjusting the clothes. Bend the knee once again, chair pose. Drawing those big toes together, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, finding that flat back. Lengthen the spine. Straighten the legs, the back of the legs. Focusing on your breath. Breathe in. Plant the hands on the mat. Bend the knees. Step or jump back. Lower completely on the mat. Upward facing. Ara Mukha Vasarasana. <laughs> Sanskrit. Downward facing dog. Ada Mukha Savasana. All right, it's good to kind of pronounce these Sanskrit words. I love it. I am not good at it, but constant practice, consistency is key. You're in downward dog, you're breathing, or you're dropping into child's pose, igniting that fire within. Inhale, float that right leg up, bend the knee. Open the hip, charge into those hip, and bring the right knee to the right elbow. We're gonna play with a little bit of arm balance. Drawing that knee to touch, lean more forward, look more forward. Float the right leg to the sky, ignite that fire, extending as my microphone falls out, that is not working. Extend, 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 bend the knee, open, charge in, right knee, right elbow, great job. Inhale, extend. More straighten the leg, more bend the knee, more open the hip. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow. You can stay here or you can lift the left leg. Taking your time to lift and open the chest, an arm balance, flying crow. Left leg down, right leg go to the sky, extend. Mindfully bring that right leg in between the hands. Pivot in the left leg, 45 degrees, square the hip, lengthen the back body, bend that right knee, charge the hands forward. Inhale, preparing for your warrior one. Lengthen the back body, extend through those fingertips, rise up, Vudra Padrasana one. Warrior one it is. Right knee is bent 90 degrees, belly ribcage, draw in, gazes towards the rising sun. Straighten the right leg. Bring the left hand to your hip. Open that hip. Open the chest. Right hand reach forward. Triangle pose. You can reach towards the toes. Feel free to use a block. Left hand extend to the sky. Here we are. Triangle pose. Trikonasana. Lengthen the spine. Be familiar with the names of the yoga poses. Be familiar with alignment, bend the knee, rise up, warrior one. Like nothing happened, remember the power of now. Exhale the hands to the mat, inhale, finding that breath, charge the left leg to the sky. An option to bring the block right behind that right heel. You hold into the blocks or to your heels and extend the left leg to the sky. One day you have a straighter line, but remember it's not about the perfection, it's about practice, showing up every single moment and breathing in, 
releasing what is no longer serving us. Put the block aside, take a breath here. We come back into half moon pose. Extend through the upper arm, draw the right hand down, lift the inner thigh, the right hip is stacking. I find that alignment is key. If you're not doing the poses correctly, then what is the point of doing yoga? Bend the knee. If you can catch, catch the top of that leg. My hip, my quads, my hamstring is saying, thank you. Bounded half moon. Breathe in and out. In and out. Extending. And when you have it, release the left foot. Meet with the right foot in the front. Chair like nothing in the world is happening, but just you in the power of now, you and your breath. Sit a little bit lower, reach the hands forward. Think as if there is a chair right behind you. Come back into chair. Come back to mountain pose. Tadasana, T-A-D-A-S-A-N, Tadasana. Mountain, hands by the side. Shoulders plug away from the ears. Can you breathe more? Can you release more? Bend the knee, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Take a breath in, look forward, lengthen, flat back. Number seven, finding that breath, shoulder away from the ears. Plant the hands alongside the feet, bend the knee with intention, step. Jump back, Chataranga, Dandasana. Upward facing dog, Adha Mukha Savasana. Downward facing dog is an exhale. Take a breath here. Releasing, pushing the thumb and index finger. Breathing in and out. Inhale, finding that breath. And exhale, releasing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Take the left leg up. Inhale, bend the knee. Open the hip. Noticing that left hip, each side might feel different. Left knee to the left elbow. Lean more forward. Feel that strength in the left elbow. Inhale, take the left leg back to the sky. Extend, bend knee, open hip. Gaze is through the left armpit. Neck is long. Left knee, left elbow. If you're not able to balance, I encourage you just to carry on here for some time and allowing that core to be engaged. Third time is a charm. All right, left knee, left elbow, hug it in, lean forward, look forward, look forward and lift the right leg up. You can straighten the left leg. If you don't have it, it's okay. I would attempt to use a block here just to show you how high you can lift a little bit more. You can bend it right knee, if you're struggling, gaze is forward. You can even kiss the mat. <laughs> you want to lift your upper body. This is why it's a little bit challenging. Take the left leg to the sky, extend. Left leg in between the hand. Pivot in that right leg 45 degrees. Reach the hands forward alongside the ears. Push the outer edge of that right leg on the mat. Lengthen the spine and rise. Warrior one, bend the left knee, lift the chest, draw the belly in, back is straight, draw the shoulder down, inhale, straighten the left leg, we move into our triangle variation, right hand opens that front hip, chest opens to the left side, left hand begin, reach forward, forward, forward and down, maybe the hands come to the shin, right hand reach high. Take a breath here. 
charge in to the root chakra and open the heart, allowing the right leg to be your anchor here, opening the hip, the heart, gaze can be towards the right thumb, eyes is soft. Bend the knee, rise up, warrior one. Noticing your breath. Lengthen the spine. Breathe in, exhale the hands to the mat. Inhale, lift the right leg up, stand and split. Again, feel free to use a block behind the left heel, straighten the left leg. This is going to help us with our split, with our handstand. It's all the building blocks. More straighten the left leg, more enjoy this pose. Relax the back of the neck. Neck is long. Eventually your head might meet with your left toes. Take a breath here, inhale, lift a little bit higher. Exhale, you're doing great. Taking a big breath here, inhale. Exhale, mindfully set the block aside and stack the right hip on top of the left. You can bring the block on your left hand and come in, half moon pose. Noticing your shoulder, straighten both arms, straighten the left leg, stacking the right hip on top of the left. I find that when you are breathing in the poses, it is much easier as opposed to when you're not breathing. Bend the knee, an option. If you did that on the right, do so on the left. Bounded, half moon. Notice your breath shoulder away from the ears kick the right leg to the sky your back body your hip your hamstring enjoys when you are ready release the bind right leg meets with the left big toes are touching knees touching ankles can be separate chair tailbone tucked under extend that hand forward as if you are carrying a block Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, bend the knee, back into that lovely pose. Chair pose, rise up, mountain pose. Again, reach the hands all the way up, look up. Draw from the belly, lean back, a slightly back bend. Trace the midline with grace and mindfulness. Forward fold. Inhale, take a look forward, lengthen the spine. Back is flat. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump back into your chaturanga. Yogi push up. Upward facing dog. Ada Mukha Savasana. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale here. Yeah. Finding that stillness and the power of now. Float the right leg up. Extend. Bend the knee. Bring that right knee towards the right elbow. Lean in and lift the left leg. You can straighten the right leg if you have space. Practice is key. Consistency is key. Rise up, warrior one, reaching the hands to the sky, squaring the hip. Look towards your thumb to add a back bend. Exhale, bring the hands to the mat. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Standing, split. Checking in whether you need a block or no block. Left leg to meet with the right, chair pose. Tailbone tuck under, rise up, mountain pose. So when we practice with mindfulness, the practice serves us. Come into your dancer's pose, bend the right leg, catch the instep, left hand reach up, 
when you are ready. Find stillness and kick the right leg back and dance like no one is watching. Lean forward, kick and lift. Straighten the leg as much as you can and incorporate that breath mindfully. Come back, reach back and sit down into your chair. Exhale, forward fold. Releasing. Look forward, lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands on the mat. Inhale, step, jump back, chataranga. Upward facing, Adha Mukha. Downward facing. So you might hear in the short form of that. Left side is the beautiful thing. We're 30 minutes in. If you're still having fun, take the left leg to the sky. Notice your breath. Shoulder away from the ears. Bend the knee. Take your time. Really energizing those hands. Left knee, left elbow. Lean in or practice lifting the right leg up. Head is off the mat. If you come to the mat, kiss the mat. Flying crow. Left leg reach high, extend. Left leg in between the hand. Warrior one. We've been here before. Bend the knee. Your body is upright. Lengthen the spine. Look up towards your thumb. Heart is open. Outer edge of the right foot on the mat. Left leg. Hands come to frame that front foot, the left foot. Inhale, lifting that right leg to the sky. Standing split. I had fun recording this class. Sorry that I have to do the voiceover, but it's also brilliant that um, I get to see my own alignment. Bring the right leg to meet with the left. Sit down, chair pose. Tuck the tailbone under and rise up, mountain pose. Your body looks like a mountain. Allowing yourself to find stillness, find that power of now. Bend the left leg, catch the instep of that left foot with the left hand. Right hand reach alongside the ears. Find a drishti, something that is not moving. The hip flexor is happy here. Take, taking that breath in and out, belly posing, you can stay here. If you farther to go, dance in this moment like no one is judging Rather, you are the observer of your own practice. Feel free to use a block or wall if you're wobbling, but straighten that right leg. Eventually, you want to straighten the left leg, like in our standing split. Each yoga pose is a constant reminder whether we're breathing, whether we're clenching the jaw. When you're ready, Mindfully, bring the left leg to join with the right chair. It is stand up, mountain, Tadasana. Take a breath here, inhale, finding that breath. Back of the neck is long, shoulder draws away from the ears. Pull that belly in towards the rib cage. As you bend the knee, sit down. Notice whether your breath has changed. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look forward, lengthen, flat back. Bend the knee, step, jump, walk, crawl back if you need to. Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Finding that breath, I'm always grateful to be on my mat. Take your right leg high, bend the knee, open the hip. Noticing your breath, flip the dog, right leg behind the left, bring your hip towards the heels, stretch out that left forearm, upper arm, shoulder. Take your time, inhale, mindfully lift hip, chest, keeping the right knee bent, open the heart. This is an interesting pose, while thin. The right hand is going to reach up, we're going to come into our side plank you can lift the right knee as it is with bend you can straighten the right leg you can stack the right leg on top of the left three options take which one is 
pleasing to you, that is available to you. Don't force anything. Right leg is going to meet the left leg, top of the mat. Inhale, rise back, warrior one. Notice your breath, outer edge of that right leg, squaring the hip. So important. Breathe in. Exhale, bring the hands behind you. For a humble warrior, knuckles, interlace, draw knuckles back, lift the chest, back of the throat open. Exhale, draw yourself down. Devotional warrior, humble warrior. Just noticing the name of the pose, reminding ourselves to be humble in this moment in time. Take a breath here, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, come back up, warrior one. Exhale the hands to the mat, inhale, lift the left leg to the sky, standing split. Just checking in, how am I, how am I feeling? Breathe in, lift the left leg a little higher. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, bring the left leg to meet with the right. Bend the knee, chair pose. Tailbone tuck under again. Exhale, reach the hands forward. Sit in that imaginary chair. Inhale, rise back up chair. Rise up mountain pose. Finding stillness in your mountain pose. Hands reach up, bend the knee, chair pose. Noticing those booty, those glutes. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look forward to lengthen. Exhale, fold deeply. Straighten that leg. Inhale, look forward once again. Exhale, plant the hands on the mat, bend the knee. Step, jump back, chaturanga. Dandasana, upward facing dog, top of the legs on the mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking a breath here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Take the left leg to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip, relax the shoulder away from the ears. Breathe in, flip the dog, bend both knees and bring your hip towards the heel. Stretching that right upper arm, drawing the shoulder away from the ears, pushing the fingers into the mat. Inhale, charge back up and rise up into your wild thin. Noticing several ways we've gone into the wild thin. Lift the heart, lift the hip. It's a back bend. And when you are ready, prepare yourself for side plank variation on the right side. Right hand stays, left hand lift. And then lift your left foot. You can keep it bent or you can straighten the left leg or you can stack left foot on top of the right. Lifting, opening, find where you have it and stay. Breathe in, left leg to the right hand, top of the mat. Rise up, warrior one. Square the hip, outer edge of that right foot on the mat. Soften the grip on your toes. Rib cage in, belly pulls towards the navel. Lengthen, bring the hands behind you, exhale. Interlace the hand, draw the knuckles down, bend the knee. Exhale, devotional warrior, humble warrior. 
you want to bring yourself down inside that left foot. Push the outer edge, the back of the body, the knuckles come forward and lengthen the spine. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Continue to bend that left knee if you can. Exhale the hands to the mat. Inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky. So it's a challenge in practice. Stand and split. You can skip any of this if you don't find them useful. I find that when you devote a bit of time in your practice, really spending the time with yourself, right leg meets with the left, bend the knee, chair pose, uttatasana. Lean forward, sit in that imaginary chair. Lower back is thankful here. Extend through those fingers. Energize the finger back into chair, tailbone under. Breathe in and rise up, mountain pose. Relax the face. Find that power of now and sit back down, chair pose. Finding that length. Inhale, float the right leg back, warrior three, interlace that hand, finding that length. You can put a, a bottle of water or a block on your lower lumbar. That way you can, get, it's, it's an inclination whether you are having a bendy back or, a, you know, active legs and come into warrior two. Take that block off or the cup of water the bottle of water rather warrior two peaceful warrior left knees bent open that left rib cage that's what the intention here and have a strong legs come back into warrior two exhale the left hand down and then inhale lift the right leg up half moon and bind so noticing our shoulder mobility the flexibility and bring yourself into stand and split. Just notice how lighter your legs are as you bring the right leg into chair pose, Uttatasana, body upright. Rise up, mountain pose. We take it again on the other side. That's the beauty of having right and left. Inhale, bend the knee. Chair pose, Uttatasana. So noticing your breath, shoulder away from the ears. When you have it, take a breath here, shoulder, and we're going to go to the left side into our warrior three. Again, bring the block underneath you. You only have two set of hands and extend through the fingers. An option to bring the hands alongside the body and continue to straighten the right leg. When you have it, taking a breath here, maybe that left leg lowers a bit just to make sure that your back is flat. Put the block aside and rise up. Warrior two, Vadra Bhadrasana two. Bending that left knee, shoulders in alignment, soften your gaze. Don't lean too forward or too back. Just find the center line like a warrior. Warrior, the symbol of strength, symbol of endurance, a symbol of resiliency, peaceful warrior. As you drop the left hand, the right hand floats alongside the ears, keeping that right knee bent. Finding your breath here, Ujjayi breath. Come back to warrior two, mindfully. Exhale, the left hand rises up, right hand on the block, half moon. You can stay here. You can bend and catch the top of that left foot, bounded half moon pose. When you have it, bring the left hand down, frame the front foot, use a block. We've used the block quite a bit here. Stand and split. 
each side will feel different, but with constant awareness and practice, and it's better. R left leg meets with the right, chair pose, Uttatasana, rise up, mountain pose. Belly pose in, standing like a warrior that you are. Bend the knee, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look forward, lengthen, flat back. Bend the knee, step, jump, crawl, back. Yogi push up, elbows hugging the rib cage. Upward facing dog. Press back, downward facing dog. Bring your forearm on the mat. Finding that breath, finding thy heels reaching back, dolphin pose. And then begin to walk your leg gently towards the elbow, keeping your elbow shoulder width apart. So this is a great pose for those of you that are new for Pincha Marasana. Bend the knee. Either walk or step forward into Malasana. We call this the anti-aging pose. So not only that you get to open the hip, this is a great movement that we use daily. Begin to walk your legs together, flat back, straight back. Exhale, forward fold. Catch behind your heels. Begin to bring the elbow behind your calf. Try to bring your thigh and chest towards the upper legs. Relax the back of the neck. This is an active pose. Breathe into it. You're constantly evolving in this pose. Exhale. Release the hands. And when you have it, let's tank her out with our arm balance. I have a 30-minute yoga tutorial on incorporating crow pose. Notice where my knee is. It's a little bit higher towards my armpit. For those of you that are struggling, lift the hip, push your mat, look forward, lift one leg and tank her to lift the other. Some of it is fear. Some of it is being fearless. You can put a block on your forehead, lower back down, malasana. So catch your ankles, push your hip back, and bring your head forward, creating space. Creating space, making sure that you're breathing in and out. Take a breath here, inhale. We try, crow again once more. Or you can step back into your vinyasa. Yogi push up, upward facing dog, downward facing dog excellent work take the left leg to the sky bring the left leg in between the hand pause bring your forearm on the mat you don't have to go any farther here you can bring your right knee on the mat you've done a lot of work walk that left foot a little bit further you can take a block and bring into your forearm Using block is okay. No judgment here. Continue to hug your left knee towards the left shoulder. And release. This is not the time to think. It's the time to breathe. Release. Relax. Go within. When you have it, it's almost time and take the left hand back bend the right knee and catch the top of that left right foot rather bend the knee this is already challenging enough you can bring your right forearm and catch your ankle notice my upper body i want to bring my upper body towards the sky one day it would be but meantime Relax and enjoy the journey. Coming back and taking that left leg to the sky, 
Give it a wiggle, give it a shake. Extend, lengthen the spine and bring the left leg parallel to the mat for pigeon. You can put a block on the left hip. That way the hip are squared. If you don't need a block, flex your left leg. You can also bring a block on your forehead as I am. Extend that right leg, feel your back again flat. Back of the neck is long and extend. Enjoy this moment, especially for my lovely friends who are runners. You have tight IT band. This pose is of order. Just remember to breathe. All right, same way we came in. Uh, allow yourself to press and take the left leg and give it a nice shake and press into your vinyasa yogi push up upward facing as you release the top of the legs exhale downward facing lovely inhale take the right leg to the sky lizard pose on this side extend that leg forearm on the mat just lower your knee on the mat if you need to. If not, you keep your knee off the mat. But we've done a lot of work. Allow yourself to use a prop on the forehead or on the forearm. Breathe into it and breathe out. Again, inhale and exhale. With every breath, go within. When you are ready, begin to make your way out of the pose and extend the right leg back and up if you can. And bring that right leg parallel to the mat for pigeon pose. My microphone fall out, but I'm not getting sound. So right side, take the right leg to the sky and bring it parallel to the mat for pigeon on this side. Flex the right leg, put a block on the right hip if you need it. Flex, open the front hip, lengthen the spine, and then begin to lay yourself forward. Feel free to put a block on your forehead and restore. Restorative yoga is a thing, not only that, after a long practice like this, a lot of arm balance, a lot of standing poses, it's okay to remember that not everything has to be fast, fast, rush, rush. We can reconnect, reignite with our authentic self. Go within, close your eyes, allow yourself to breathe in and breathe out releasing what is no longer supporting us here. When you are ready, talk right leg back and up. Give it a shake, shake it out. Release vinyasa, yogi push up or skip it. Upward facing dog, top of the legs, thigh stretch out, feel your breath, press back. Downward facing dog, excellent work, bravo. Forearm on the mat, allowing yourself here an opportunity to release once again. Breathe in, dolphin pose, and bring the crown of your head on the mat. If you don't have a headstand, don't worry. You stay here, really tankering with one leg lifting. And then if you have, just press into headstand. For those of you that are new, this is just playing one leg at a time. So maybe observe first before you go in. My right leg is zipped up. I zipped it up like a really tight jeans. I bend my knee. I try to find myself in space. My left leg meets with my right in my head stand. Notice my legs are active. 
just like in my crow pose. My core is engaged. My hip is engaged. Open the hip. Do any leg variation. The poses are not there to hurt you. They are there for you to play. It's a play time for us. Lower the legs and enjoy a little bit of child's pose. Reach your hands towards your heels and surrender to Mother Earth. Let Mother Earth cradle you and allow yourself to relax. You've done a lot of work. I hope you reckon. All right. When you're ready now, you're going to come into kneeling. Knees together. You're sitting towards your heels. Your ankles are saying thank you. Well needed. All right. Pause in here and allowing yourself to breathe in and out. Just letting go. From here, we're going to protect our knee for camel pose. Option one. Hands on your lower back, but the hips are stuck over the knee. So just here enough is plenty for some of you. You further to go, you begin to walk your hands towards your heels. Don't force anything. Don't push your hip back in order for you to touch your heels. I always say that your hands are perfect, the length of your arms. So if you can catch your heels, great. If you're in the lower back, perfect, nothing wrong. You can look forward. Some people prefer to look forward. I prefer to let my head go back, but my back body is engaged. Hands reach up to the sky, one motion. Exhale, take the deserved child's pose. It's a counter pose. Surrender here. Relax, restore back especially from the back bend, opening the heart. There is that feelings, that emotions that come up when you are opening the heart. All right. You're going to wiggle those toes forward, come into seated. Dandasana, staff pose. For those of you that want to be a yoga teacher, it's important to let your tongue move in the poses. Hands reach up. Extend the hands forward, look towards your toes, catch your toes, back of your knee on the mat. You don't know how many times I've come around and see that people's back of the knees off the mat. So I check in, look forward as opposed to looking towards your belly. Some habits are meant to be corrected. Look forward and then when you're ready, inhale, hands reach up. Find that breath. Exhale, belly pulls in. Exhale, hands behind you. Bend the knee, tabletop. Those of you that advance, take it into reverse plank. All right, hip comes down to the mat. Charge hands forward. Come into Navasana. Don't you worry. Everyone gets to enjoy headstand and shoulder stands. All right, lower halfway. We tap it out just to engage our core. Tap out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Allow yourself just to release in any tension here. Hug the knee, right, left knee in rather. Breathe in, right knee in. This helps to remove any extra gas. So continue this as if you're cycling, but do it mindfully. There is a difference when you're in the gym with your mates, as opposed to when you're in your yoga mat with yourself. Reversing, pushing, keeping that shoulder off the mat, neck is long, and move your body. Your core is happy. <laughs> All right, give it a go. Let me know how you get on. Continue this for some time and slowly rock yourself back and forward and bend the knee into your bridge pose. 
run your hands underneath you, lift your hip, your belly pulls towards the spine. There is no need puckering your belly to the sky, rather towards your spine. Support your back if you need to with a block. And this is a good one. Now, lift your hip, rock forward and back. Let your toes touch the mat before you release your back. Support your back if you're new to this. Look at me if you need to find, to look before you go in and we press into our shoulder stance. I always say it's a shoulder stance rather than a neck stand. So you want your, your legs to be stuck over the hip. Take a moment to adjust. Usually in the class I'll come and stand and press you up. It's a good feeling to just grow an inch taller in this pose. Continue to activate your foot bend the knee and take the legs back into plow pose as the english name halasana sanskrit slowly come down and bend the knee run your hands on the knee to you arch and straighten your legs and come into fish pose open the chest open the throat Open the third eyes, point toes, lengthen the spine, and we begin to release out of the pose with a bent knee. Resist twisting, rather bring the sole of the legs together into a reclining butterfly pose. Sutta, body, kanasana in Sanskrit, butterfly pose simply laying down here. We rest. Noticing the earth underneath you, noticing the mat underneath you. Affirming in yourself, I am strong. I am beautiful. I am handsome. So a man can be beautiful as well. So allowing yourself to release what i like to think here is allowing myself to remind myself of all those challenging poses and just noticing i'm not doing anything and relax the back of the neck is supported the head is supported Noticing the undulation of the breath as you inhale and as you exhale, you empty out. Relax your toes, nowhere to go. Relax your foot. Relax your upper thigh. Relax your hip. My friends, it's an honor, it's a privilege for me to guide you in this 60 minute power yoga for strength and flexibility. I hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoy teaching. If you've been watching the content, check that you are subscribed. Subscription is free. Let me know how you get on. Do you like a slower pace class with a voice over? It is hard to record after an hour has gone by. What a waste of technology. If I have it, it's not working. <laughs> Rather, I am grateful again that I can sit here and record and make you laugh. Hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed. I hope you're able to have a longer Shavasana at your own pace. If not, Let's begin to wiggle the toes, rotate the ankle, rotate the wrist, squeeze the knee and reach the hands overhead. Lengthen the spine, hug your knee, love on yourself, bring your head towards the knee, round them like a ball. When you have it, rock forward and back a couple of times and bring yourself to seated. Sit nice and tall. 
honoring that divine light in each and every one of us. Open the palms to receive. When you're ready, hands reach up and we twist now to the right side. Back of the neck is long, body is upright. Look towards the right shoulder. Draw the chin towards the chest. When you are ready, gazes forward, hands reach up and we twist to the left side. Shoulder down, neck is long, belly pulls in, three part breathing. Come back to center. The light that reside in each and every one. Let your light be seen. Be the light in someone today. May you be well. I thank you. I thank you for all your support, for all your kind comments. Namaste and be well. Subscribe, like, and share. Follow me on all platform, Home Green Wellness, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And I will continue to serve in the best of my ability for now. Namaste and be well. Continue to smile. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoy teaching. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Let me know what you would like to see. Let me know whether you want me to focus on one pose. Did you like this pace? Was it too fast? Was it too slow? Thank you once again. Sending you my love. Namaste. Peace.